Hi everyone, uh, welcome. Uh, my name is Nandana Madhusudanan and I work with the Job Dispatcher team here at the EBI uh, where we focus on providing various bioinformatics tools for sequence analysis. And uh, this webinar is about giving you an overview of the tools uh, we provide. Uh, so this webinar covers how you can access Job Dispatcher's sequence analysis tools and the advantages of using them. Uh, it will give you an overview of our new website, which is under development, uh, so that you can stay up to date with the latest features that we are providing and with our new user documentation. Um, we'll also uh, give you a brief idea about programmatic access, uh, an alternative way of accessing these tools without a browser. So in Job Dispatcher team, uh, we offer uh, 50 plus sequence analysis tools across uh, 12 different categories uh, that are for protein and nucleotide analysis. Uh, there are various tool categories. As you can see here, we have uh, sequence uh, similarity search tools, uh, which uh, like uh, NCBI BLAST, FASTA, SciSearch, etc., and uh, sequence alignment tools that include pairwise sequences like uh, emboss, needle, water, matcher, etc., and uh, multiple sequence alignment tools like cluster omega, K aligned, uh, and many more. We also have a service called dbfetch, uh, <clears throat> which provides you an easy way to retrieve entries from various databases at the Embel EBI. So links are provided here in the slide if you want to explore uh, more about these tools. Uh, each uh, tool category has a landing page. Uh, so if you click, uh, it, it will lead you to the a landing page of that particular tool category with a list of tools in that category and uh, a brief description. So the tools we provide are suitable for uh, various research purposes, for example, to identify conserved sequence motifs, infer evolutionary relationships, identify variants, and so on. Uh, if you take an example, the pairwise sequence alignment tools can be used to identify sequence patterns or uh, mutations or regions of local similarity between two sequences. Uh, our multiple sequence alignment tools can be used to find conserved sequence motifs. Um, as you know, identifying conserved motifs can help uh, you to understand the function of a protein or gene and can also be used to design primers or for PZR or props for microarrays. Uh, it is also possible to determine the evolutionary relationships between proteins or genes uh, by comparing their sequences. So this information can be used to create phylogenetic trees that illustrate the connection between different species. Uh, the sequence similarity search tools uh, can be used as the first step for uh, predicting the protein structure where you are comparing the sequences first with the existing uh, sequences in the databases. Uh, so we also have uh, several protein functional tools uh, for finding functional annotations where you are search against a range of protein signature databases to identify protein families, domains, and functional sites. Uh, job dispatchers, tools like uh, Cluster Omega, Blast, etc., are used by other teams uh, like within the EBA, like uh, Uniprot, Ensemble Genomes, etc. So we have users within uh, the EBI itself. Uh, so yes, uh, the job dispatchers tools uh, can be used uh, in a variety of your fundamental uh, research areas. Now, uh, to access our tools, uh, you can either go to the EBI service page, uh, which is www.ebi.ac.uk slash services and type the tool name uh, and then go to the respective tool homepage. Uh, we also recently added the job dispatcher service to the list of EBA resources. So when you type the job dispatcher uh, in this, um, it will take you to our new website, uh, which is uh, under development, but is uh, functional. So you can still run your analysis without any issues. 
uh, we will discuss more about our uh, new website uh, in the coming slides. So currently, uh, this is uh, what our uh, tool landing page uh, look like uh, for a tool category. This is uh, for pairwise sequence alignment tools. Uh, and the base URL will be www.ebi.ac.uk slash tools with a capital T. Uh, then the tool category, PSA, that stands for pairwise sequence alignment. Uh, if you're looking for uh, multiple sequence alignment, it will be MSA. Uh, for sequence similarity search, it will be SSA and uh, so on. So this page uh, lists the tools uh, in that category and a brief description about each tool that will help you to choose the right tool for your analysis. For example, if you would like to compare homologous genes or proteins, uh, take uh, sequences from uh, humans and versus mouse, uh, you can go for a global alignment. Uh, which do an end-to-end -end alignment, whereas if you're looking for conserved patterns in two sequences, uh, go for a local alignment uh, uh, that helps you to find the local regions with highest level of uh, similarity. Also, when selecting a tool, consider the size of your sequences. Choose an appropriate uh, tool that can deal with lengthy sequences or large sequences. So it's also recommended to read uh, the tool description before using any tool. Uh, for using a tool, uh, you first need to provide the input sequences first in a supported format. Uh, if you are using a pairwise alignment uh, that requires two sequences, uh, while multiple sequence alignment tools require more than two sequences, additionally, tools like um, M view that uh, covers a sequence that convert a sequence formats require an alignment result as an input. So uh, provide uh, your input correctly. Uh, after that, uh, you can set the tool parameters. Uh, click on a more options button uh, to view all the available parameters the tool has and select values that align with your requirements or you can go for with the default values. And then uh, submit uh, the form uh, to launch the tool on our server. Uh, there is also an option uh, to provide an email ID. Tick this box if you want to notify by email when the results are available. Uh, after submitting your sequences, uh, you will receive a job ID that will allow you to access uh, your results later. Uh, Please keep in mind that we only store our jobs, uh, your jobs on our server for uh, seven days. So if you want the results for future reference, uh, please consider uh, downloading them before. Uh, once you submit the job, uh, you will see its uh, status as either queued or running. Queued means uh, that our servers are currently busy and you have not yet started the analysis. Running means that the analysis has begun and you can expect uh, your results uh, shortly. Uh, the status will change to finished once your results are available. Uh, if you receive a job not found uh, status, it means uh, that uh, the job is no longer stored in our system, uh, usually because it has been over seven days or uh, you have provided an invalid job ID. Uh, after uh, your result is generated, uh, you will have the option to view the result tab and download the result files. Uh, uh, if you take an example of an MSA result, uh, multiple sequence alignment result, as you can see here, uh, this is a result of cluster omega. You will uh, first have uh, the alignment term, uh, then uh, followed by a summary result a summary tab, uh, which includes the alignment tree and percentage identity matrix. So depending on the tool category, uh, there may be different uh, workflows available. Uh, for multiple sequence alignment tools, you'll be having uh, this um, result viewers uh, from where you can go to other tools like MView, JALView, and uh, Symbol Phylogeny. Uh, 
similarly, if you receive a sequence similarity search result, you will have access to visual output and functional prediction tabs. Okay. Uh, so, occasionally, memory-related problems uh, may arise when the tool is unable uh, to allocate enough memory to complete the task. So, if you encounter uh, such uh, issues, uh, this happens uh, especially when you are submitting or you are attempting to align extensively long sequences. So, in that case, consider using an alternative tool uh, with similar functionality. Also, please note that uh, our tools have a file size limit, so ensure that your input falls within this range. Okay, so as I mentioned uh, previously, we have almost ready to launch our new Job Dispatcher website, uh, which is available currently in the development environment. Uh, so, this website now includes a landing page that provides easy access to all our tools. As you can see here, uh, we have uh, all the tool categories uh, mentioned in the home page itself. So, you can easily navigate uh, between uh, tools, uh, which makes you uh, more user-friendly. Uh, we have uh, recently added a new feature that allows you to search for your job ID uh, through the job retrieve section. So uh, you can only retrieve one job at a time and uh, the job you are trying to retrieve must have been submitted within the last seven days. Otherwise, you won't be receiving any results. Also, ensure that uh, you provide a valid uh, job ID. Uh, you can also uh, view your recently submitted jobs from the recent job section uh, on the home page, uh, you will see a list of your five most recent job. Uh, but if you expand it uh, or go to the your job tab, uh, you will see the complete list of your jobs. So from this section, you can uh, actually see the status of your job, whether it's running or uh, finished. If you wanted to remove any unwanted list, you can delete them. Uh, but uh, note that deleting this job uh, from this list will not remove the results from our server. You will still uh, act, you can still access uh, the job by visiting uh, this link, and uh, the job is available for uh, seven days. So change your tool category and tool name and the job ID. So you can uh, uh, get the results. Okay, uh, now we have a Twitter account and blog, uh, which you can access through the links provided here, or it's on the home page. There is also a section of collaborators uh, on the home page where we highlight some of our collaborators. Uh, we have made some updates to the tool pages as well. Uh, as I mentioned before, we were having this e we are having this email ID option, which is not uh, available in our uh, development or going to be in production soon uh, in the new website. So we have removed uh, that option so since your job history details are already available on and you can take it from the website from the job retrieve option is already there and recently submitted jobs is also available from the home page so we have removed the email option uh, and uh, the tool tips option uh, we are providing uh, which uh, are available for tool parameters uh, providing a description of each tool parameter so if you mouse over uh, any parameter, you can see a description uh, like this here. Uh, and instead of individual uh, tool help and documentation pages, we have created a new user documentation uh, that consolidates all the details. So uh, we uh, encourage you to visit our new website. And if you have any feedback, uh, feel free to contact us. and. Uh, uh, we would like to improve our website based on your comments and uh, feedback. Okay, 
So I would like to highlight uh, some of the advantages of using uh, these tools uh, via job dispatcher. So the first one is we are providing a user-friendly web interface. Uh, most of these tools doesn't actually have an interface and uh, you need to install them locally to use these tools. Uh, we are providing a web interface so, can, so users can easily click and uh, submit their jobs easily. Uh, we also provide workflows uh, for a few of our tools. Uh, as I mentioned before, uh, there will be, if you are from the sequence similarity search result page, you can launch uh, multiple sequence alignment. So if you have uh, select a few of uh, your um, SSS sequence similarity IDs, and if you want to uh, know the conserved regions or something, you can launch uh, any of the multiple sequence alignment tools from the SSS result page. So built-in workflows are available. We also support various file format that, that may not be available in the actual tool. Uh, so we, for our uh, uh, sequence similarity search tools, we provide uh, several EBA databases. So it's easy for you to search against uh, EBA databases. You don't need to install anything uh, in your uh, local. We also provide a programmatic way of accessing our tools, uh, which uh, you will see in the next slide. So when uh, using the programmatic approach, uh, you are connecting with our servers uh, through a web service. This is similar to how web browser function, uh, but when you submit it, like when you submit a task uh, through a browser, a web service is used to communicate with our servers and retrieve uh, the necessary data. The key difference uh, is that with the programmatic approach, we avoid the need of a web browser and communicate with the web service directly. We are not going to any of the technical details in this webinar, but we will give you an overview of how to use our tools programmatically, especially using a web service client. So before using a web service, you first need to understand the parameters and endpoints of that particular tool or service. So there will be a documentation available. So this is the uh, documentation for uh, Job Dispatcher web service, REST web service. So I would like to show you an example with uh, Blast. So those who are familiar with Blast, a Blast is a sequence similarity search uh, tool where you are querying uh, your sequence against a list of uh, databases. So there are options available as you can see here. So in from this documentation, you are querying uh, these endpoints, like you wanted to know the endpoints uh, of that particular uh, tool. So if you click on the list available parameters, this is the result and if this is the endpoint so this endpoint let me just uh, open this in another tab so this is the endpoint for getting the list of parameters this tool has we have program task matrix alignments like several parameters are there. Similarly, if you want to know the details of a particular parameter, you first need to provide the parameter detail, the name of the parameter and then try. So now you can see this is the end point for getting the values of this parameter matrix. So you can see several uh, matrices listed here. 
this is how you are querying for this endpoint uh, programmatically. So if you want to submit a job, you need to provide a email ID and uh, you can provide uh, your sequence here. Once you submit the sequence, you will be getting the job ID. So uh, once you know this uh, endpoints, you can then write your own scripts or code to incorporate these endpoints in your code. But we also provide uh, pre-written uh, scripts or uh, programs uh, which are called the clients uh, that already call these web services. So you don't need to write any code uh, to call the web services, just run the clients. Uh, these clients are available in our Git repository. So if you go to our GitHub, uh, this is the link. You can see there are already written uh, scripts available in uh, Python, Perl, and Java. So in today's webinar, I'll be showing uh, an example of Python client uh, for NCBA Blast. So this actually describes how to use the web service clients. Uh, so for Python clients, uh, you need a Python version 3.5 or above. And there are some dependencies uh, that you need to install before uh, trying to use these clients, which are the XML trunk to and requests. So if you go to the Python uh, repo, you can see there are many uh, example clients uh, for various uh, tools. So I'm using the NCBA Blast uh, for the demo. Okay, before uh, showing the demo, I would just uh, like to uh, let you know that uh, we have a policy in place uh, for our web service users to enable fair access to all our submitters. Uh, we allow uh, on maximum 30 jobs at a time. So we request you to limit your submission to 30 or less at one, one time and wait for the results before uh, submitting again. So let me just uh, open my terminal. Hope you can see this. So I am using a wget command, uh, which is for downloading the file from the web. So I am downloading uh, this ncbiblast.py Python client. Uh, so you can see I have uh, downloaded it. So if you run uh, with uh, this uh, client with minus minus help, you can see the list of uh, help uh, document. So these are the required uh, parameters for this uh, in using this NCBA Blast client, uh, email program sequence type and sequence and the database. And there are optional parameters. You can change if you want or use the default ones. It will use the default one. So if you want to, okay. So if uh, you want to know uh, the parameters uh, for this uh, NCBA Blast uh, program, you can query it like, uh, this minus minus params. So this will list you the list of uh, parameters. If you want to see the values of a particular parameter, uh, there is an option param detail. So you need to type uh, minus minus param detail, then the parameter. Now you can see the list of uh, matrices available. Uh, and 
to run a, a task or to submit a job. So I already have a, a input file here, if which has a sequence in FASTA format. So in order to sorry. So in order to run this, uh, there is this command. Let me just uh, copy that. So this email ID is required, then the sequence type. So we are searching, uh, we are providing a protein sequence and using the uh, BLAST P, which search uh, for protein databases and providing, and we are searching it against the Uniprot KB. And this is our query sequence. So once you do this, you will be getting a job ID and the job is running. So it may take some time to uh, finish the job. So by the time, uh, I already have a finished job. So I'll just show you how to uh, access the results with that uh, finished job. Before that, if you have uh, multiple sequences, uh, I have another file, uh, multi -input .fasta, which has uh, three sequences. And you want to uh, search a for all the three sequences like uh, simultaneously, then you can uh, use a uh, uh, option multi uh, which I will show you. Uh, so you provide your email ID, uh, sequence uh, type, program, database, and then uh, multi and you are submitting a uh, three sequences and the file. Once you submit, you will be having three job IDs uh, for each of these sequences. And uh, now you can see this is queued. Now it started running. So this is the first uh, job ID, second one and third one. And this is again the first one, which is queued and running. So yeah, that's it. If you want to receive a pause this for the time being, uh, let me just uh, show you uh, with a already finished job. So if you want to receive a result, uh, there is an option uh, result. So if you want to know what are the available result types of that particular uh, tool, there is an option result types. So you use this option and then provide a minus minus job ID, then the job ID. So this will give you uh, the list of uh, result uh, files this uh, particular tool has for that particular job. If you want to receive uh, the result of a particular uh, result, if you want to download it, this is the option. Uh, so you are using the poll job and then the job ID. And uh, you want the output, uh, the plain output format, or if you want the accessions, you can provide a accession. So this is finished. If you list here, you will be having uh, the accession of uh, the databases sequences. Similarly, if you want to re uh, retrieve uh, all the results of a particular uh, job, you can uh, simply type poll job, job ID, and then the job ID. So this will give you all the results for that particular job ID. If you see this one, this is the alignment, the actual result of the sequence similarity search. Okay. 
so going back to the slides so yeah these are the things that i showed you now and uh, okay if you want to cite us please uh, use uh, this uh, for citing us and uh, if you have any feedback uh, you can contact us via the support form or you can email us at support at ebi.ac.uk or feedback at ebi.ac.uk.